Hey guys. <laughs> Happy Sunday. Yep, I'm back. Can't help it. I really can't help it. I just, I want to play and I want to try this Shockety Romper. It's a gingham check with um, uh, embroidered and ruching and it's beautiful. It's actually what Monroe has worn past Christmas holiday season um, and I want to see it on Melody because I think she will look really good in that color. I, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put um, cloth diaper on her because she currently has a disposable and I just you guys I just couldn't wait to play again with her. She's just <laughs> she's so beautiful. I love her and it is snowing here so um, you know the weather is horrible. Lighting is going to be horrible but I don't even care. I don't even care. I know exactly how this baby looks. And so it doesn't bother me if she's not looking like perfect in the lighting and in my video. It is what it is. But I will tell you, you guys, every time I pick her up, every time I move her around, she just, you put her down and there's no bad way to pose her. She just, she poses like a perfect little newborn baby does and I'm obsessed with how she just every every way she lays is perfect <laughs> it just is and I'm not a fan of using y'all you all know I mean anybody that's watched me for any length of time you know all my babies live in cloth diapers so that's what we're putting on her and this one is a Grovia light pink diaper um and this is, what brand is this? I don't even know. I feel, I feel like it's a Huggies, but I don't really know. So, let's see here. So what I did do, if you notice, this here, I sewed, okay, so Bonnie put out um, videos, tips to how to bend for the first video was how to make the bend even more of a tighter bend in her in her legs if you're the artist doing it and then the other one was for anybody that if you pinch this together pinch the body down between the legs in the diaper area together it actually gives her a better um bent leg look and it's and it, I've noticed a difference so I'm like I'll try it and if I don't like it I'll just take you know undo it and so I actually really like it with the modification to it because it does it angles her legs at a perfect little froggy leg position that um, I absolutely love and this is gonna cover up her little belly button but that's okay <laughs> I love the button belly button the little button on the artist I love that but I want to take up some slack with the cloth diaper and it fits her really really well so the Grovia is the brand that I really love on Monroe the best too that she always is wearing. And because the darker print, I'm putting just a basic onesie. I found a basic next onesie that shouldn't stick out everywhere. But here's the thing, even though it's snowing, it's freezing cold here today, I really have no urge to cover up her legs. I will, I literally just wanna be able to see her limbs, see her legs, especially because of the way they curl up. So I'm gonna leave her legs bare because I really just want to be able to see them. And this is what I was talking about. I want to make sure I can get her little hands, her open hands through the opening of anything I'm putting on her because I don't want to like stress the vinyl. So I'm being very careful not to bend in her hands and making sure that I'm not doing anything that's gonna damage her. I love this baby so much, you guys. She really is just so beautiful. God, I wish you, everybody could see her in person. Her coloring, I'm finding, is very much like Monroe's. And I love Monroe's coloring because new baby. Monroe's is a newly born baby. And the skin tones are exactly of a newly born baby. Versus we have Penny who has much more, I don't know, not newborn skin tone. She's got more olive skin tones. I mentioned this yesterday when I was changing her, but 
she just has different skin tones of a little bit slightly older baby where they start to you know manage their temperature and their circulation and they're not brand new like she looks brand new like she just <laughs> she was just born and she's got those pink pink tones and she's gonna come across as very different today than probably the the last video I did of her because I'm in the nursery <laughs> so she tends to come off very purpley pink which I don't mind necessarily um because I I she just looks super new and yeah I think this is going to be pretty on her so I was trying to find something that I didn't have to run out and buy for her to wear for Christmas because I want her to you know be somewhat festive <laughs> like the rest of the babies and this is a a non-stretch cotton which is why I'm being very gentle about how I you know I checked first to see if the openings would be big enough and they were so that's why I'm not you know I'm just kind of gently gliding her open hands through and not straining them but I just I wanted her to be festive too you know and this gave me an excuse to you know play a little bit more with her and handle her <laughs> and spend some time with her. Um, but I'm just curious to see how this color, because like I said yesterday, that's one of the things when you get a new baby is seeing what works on their skin tones. And it's every baby. Some babies look great in like almost everything you put them in, right? And for me, that's a very rare thing. Most of the time, I have to play around to find the right look. And this is part of why, um, for me, little buttons in the back here, don't mind me struggling. Um, this is why I don't always put the dolls I get in the originals that they come with them, that the artist chose for them. However, the originals and the clothing that came with Melody actually will suit her skin tone. And the artist knows best what suits um, a redhead skin tone because she herself is a redhead. She's, you know, her children are from what I've heard. Um, so she knew what colors to buy. Um, but part of, you know, making your baby your own, and it's the same for me, has always been finding the wardrobe that works with their skin tones because a lot of times, like with Monroe, for instance, um, I have to fish the <laughs> sleeve back down. Um, Claire sends home a bunch of outfits and I noticed that the majority of the outfits, almost all of them that Claire sent home with the edition, for the Duane edition, they were all newborn size. And that is too small for Monroe. It's also why I've never stressed her to put her in them. I didn't love the outfits, I'll be honest, because there are a lot of Carters, which I like Carters every once and again. But overall, I don't put my dolls in a lot of Carters unless they're basics. Um, I love Carter's basics. That's what I prefer. I'm going to put them in Carter's like onesies and things like that or sleepers. Um, so the outfits, see, that's cute. Um, <laughs> so cute. You are adorable. Um, so that's why I never really used Monroe's originals. They don't fit her. They're too small. I don't know whether, um, Claire didn't like try them on the babies because she didn't come home wearing any of the originals other than uh, a knitted sweater thing but that wasn't a size that was not the same size as the Carter's stuff that she came with um, so it didn't make sense why they got sent home with newborn size stuff and all the other collectors agreed that they don't really fit very well the handmade items definitely fit them perfectly oh she looks so cute but the Carter stuff, all the extra outfits, just they didn't fit the doll. And I'm, and I'm not one to stress or squeeze a silicone into a small, ill-fitting outfit just so they can wear it. Nope. <laughs> um, so that's, that's part of why I also don't, you know, use some of the um, originals. So that, but a big part of it really is finding what we think works um, for the look we're going for for our babies, you know, that's an important part of the bonding for me anyways. Um, I've never had one of these little toothbrush type of brushes for their hair, and I like it so much. It's so much easier than a big brush. 
course, a lot of times I'm not brushing hair. So <laughs> even for like Monroe, I don't really brush her hair, so to speak. Oh, this is really sweet on her. I think this is gonna be a good color, good outfit for her. Um, look at her. Oh, I love her so much, you guys. This babe, and she's so nice and heavy. She's so nice and heavy. I did my workout and my muscles are sore, my arm muscles. And so it's like, wow, she's heavy. But <laughs> I love her weight. She feels like, a heavy living baby feels, you know, that's what I look for. I love it. And she's, her, her, um, vinyl's protected if this were to run, although I don't know if Jacquardy, they're, they're very quality, um, uh, clothing. So, but you know, you never know, you never know. So we don't want to, we don't want to risk ever, um, color bleeding on, our precious babies. We just, nope, not worth the risk. I'll tell you that. But this way she's actually ready for Christmas, ready for the holiday to come this week. I don't know if I'll be able to leave her alone, <laughs> you know, up until Christmas, but who knows? We'll see. I'll try. I mean, shoot. <laughs> I don't know, but I just, you know, the way this baby just Oh my gosh, you guys, she's just, I love her so much. I just can't get enough of her. Like I come in here and I've been just staring at her and let's show you a different angle without trying to cause a shadow. So I'm going to pull it down far enough, but like literally every way this baby poses her hands, these little feet and when you pick her up she curls she curls right up oh you're so beautiful that's what I like about Monroe too guys let's let's face it um it's one of the things I've talked about over and over again about what I love about Monroe that when I pick her up she curls up there's something about the feel of her um Oh, I love her. I love her. Like, there's no wrong way to lay her. There really is not a wrong way to lay this baby. Sorry. I'm trying to show you different angles of her. You know, if if you if I lay her on her side a little bit. Um, oh, precious girl. I just, oh man, she's just so beautiful. You know, so new so freshly born so pr like just when I pick her up like she just curls I can't explain just how beautiful she feels but I'm enjoying her and I have to say about the sculpt um I love how her hair kind of flips up above her ears it's so cute um I have to say that uh the way Bonnie sculpted her neck She has a neck, so it's angled perfectly like a newborn's baby neck, you know, in clothing, like you can put regular, you know, all, you don't have to have high necked things. And so she's got this a beautiful little double chin. I mean, oh, she's just gorgeous. She's gorgeous. I'm going to have to trim that. Oh, it came off. Little, little strings. But what do you guys think? I'm just in awe. I'm literally just in awe of her. You know, she can curl right up into a little ball and she looks so natural that way. Or you can straighten her little legs out a little bit. So one of my friends um, had, I like to have her chin angled down so you can see the little double chin, <laughs> it's so cute. Um, one of my friends on my last video with, uh, Penny asked if in comparison from Penny to Melody, um, size difference. So here's the thing about sizing, like laying a doll next to one another. You really, they're going to look really different, um, in a way that they can both wear the same size clothing. So they'll both wear a size one month beautifully. 
However, their dimensions, their, um, their proportions are very different. So Mel is, is like shorter, a little bit shorter newborn body. I've noticed not by much, maybe a hair. She's also got longer limbs, but because she's bent legged, my guess is she would be, you know, about the same length, even if you were to, you know, if she were a living baby and stretched her leg out next to stretching Penny's leg out, I think she's a bigger baby. Um, she's depicted as a good size newborn. Um, but in comparison, like the two babies can wear the same size because mostly what you're fitting are the, is the body. Um, so... I think Mel does not fill out the body as much like she's got a, a, a more narrow body, but it suits her perfectly. And uh, Penny has a thicker, more round and a little bit longer because she takes up the length a little bit more in the one month size because she's, they're both wearing a one month size um, romper from Jacquardy and they just fit slightly different, but they fit. It's hard to explain <laughs> proportions. It's all, it's all about the proportions um, of each baby. They can look so very different and yet wear the same size clothing. That's the most interesting thing about um, baby clothing sizes and stuff, especially in rompers because you're not putting like long leg things on them. Um, however, she'll, she'll be perfectly fine in, I think, one month size long legged things. Um, they might come up a little bit because she has such a bend in her legs. It's tough to say. We'll, we'll be playing with that. We'll definitely be checking all of that out. Um, it's the fun of a new baby, right? It was the fun, you know, it still is me putting different things on Penny as well. I know exactly what fits Monroe so perfectly and I don't have to like ponder it at all because I've had her for so long. I know what works and what fits on her. But there she is, guys. Little Mel. Gorgeous girl, and I think this is perfect for her and her coloring. I think this is gonna stay on her for hopefully until Christmas. <laughs> That's like almost a week, less than a week away, six days, guys. We'll see how how long I can hold out not changing her. <laughs> we shall see. But anyways, happy Sunday to all. Hopefully you've enjoyed seeing little Mel, little little you know playing around changing chatting about her showing you her I hope you enjoyed seeing her and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and we'll see you all soon guys thanks for watching bye bye